Gabbard, 2020. So I just saw a picture <laughs> uh, of uh, Andrew Yang and Tulsi Gabbard together. Um, that was the first time I believe I've seen them pictured together. And, you know, they're on the campaign trail, so of course they're going to be, you know, bumping into each other, talking to each other, uh, networking with each other. Uh, so it just got me thinking, like, that would be an awesome ticket. <laughs> that that just, I don't know. Uh, I don't know which way it would go. Would it go Andrew Yang president, Tulsi Gabbard vice president, you know, or the other way around, uh, a female president with Tulsi Gabbard, uh, Andrew vice. <sighs> I like them both. Um, let me see here. You know, I see Andrew Yang is dominant <clears throat> on the domestic front. Like, he has so much to offer on on, on domestic policy um, with human-centered capitalism, Medicare for all, and, uh, you know, his flagship proposal of universal basic income, or UBI. Uh, so that's the dominant focus of Andrew Yang. And that's good. You want, obviously, you want a candidate who has a strong domestic uh, outlook. And Andrew Yang has that. Uh, you go to his website, he's loaded with policies. He's strictly a domestic policy guy. Um, he has a vision for the future. He has just a gargantuan sized list of policies that he's interested in implementing, um, which is just very refreshing in general uh, for a politician. Uh, to to be that interested in telling us what policies they want right away. But when, when I think about foreign policy, and when I think of Andrew Yang, you know, it's, it's kind of like, okay, well, I haven't heard much of anything. Have you guys heard anything about Andrew Yang's foreign policy? Um, if, you, if you have, leave a comment down below. Let's talk about that. Uh, I just haven't heard anything. I haven't read anything seen in an interview with Andrew Yang talking about foreign policy. Um, so, you know, in like I said, I saw him with Tulsi Gabbard pictured, and Tulsi Gabbard is definitely it, more centered in foreign policy, if not domestic. She has a strong domestic record. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard has a, a strong progressive domestic record that goes back to 2012, um, and it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Um uh, but she also has the foreign policy experience uh, to go along with that domestic record. Uh, so the merge between Yang and Gabbard, it kind of makes sense. Um, it would totally make sense. Um, you know, Tulsi obviously has uh, a strong desire to be a diplomat for peace uh, in the Middle East. Um, and, you know... I, I think that it would just be a good fit for these two to, to merge together, one with a very strong domestic agenda like Andrew Yang, and one with a very strong foreign policy outlook like Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, it just seems like it would be really good, and it made me think of Bernie and Tulsi too, because I think Bernie and Yang are kind of the same, where they're really strong on domestic policy. They, they have a lot of good ideas on the domestic front, but on foreign policy, um, it's either not there or it's shaky. So, you know, Gabbard just would fit the mold for either of these guys, really. But uh, to speculate on the Andrew Yang ticket uh, that has Tul Tulsi Gabbard on it somewhere really does seem appealing. Uh, so that's, that's a fun ticket to speculate on. Obviously, I would be all for it. I know a lot of you would, too. Um, but what do you think of an Andrew Yang Tulsi Gabbard ticket? Leave a comment down below.